So another thing that Mo Brooks said, Brooks said the mainstream media are now, quote, the communications arm of the socialist movement in the United States of America. And he goes on to talk about how they were planning a coup and, and all this other stuff. I won't go into the full quote here. But here's the thing. If you were an actual, let, let's take the media and the names out of it for a second. I want you to look at it this way. If you were trying to create an insurgence within the United States of America, or any country really, it doesn't even have to be America. If you are a, a splinter cell, basically an organization that wants to fundamentally change the government of the country that you are in and remake it into your likeness, if you wanted to have a socialist revolution, you would need people that were in charge of communication. And that's true of any real political movement. And so imagine that that's the case. What would that communication arm look like? What are the kind of things that they would do? What kind of propaganda would they peddle out and how would they do it? Because I contend, and this is where I think Mo Brooks hits the nail on the head, that if that were the case, they would look an awful lot like the American mainstream media. Think about this, first of all. Would they be constantly rooting for the president's downfall at every turn, on every show? Would they constantly see things that they could potentially use against the president and constantly be pushing that narrative out there and, and using that just drumbeat after drumbeat over and over and over again? I mean, you would think that they would. Would they selectively omit any facts that look unfavorable to their party's narrative or their party's agenda? They would, and we see the media doing this all the time. Because... They couldn't shut up, for example, about the transgender bathrooms, but you barely saw any coverage at all in the mainstream media of the incidents of sexual assault that happened in mixed bathrooms or mixed locker rooms. They don't report that stuff. That's just one example, but they are constantly selectively omitting details because they strike against the narrative that their party puts out there. Would it constantly blow things out of proportion when the president makes a mistake? Look, the president makes mistakes on a regular basis. He is an incredibly flawed, imperfect man. And even most of his supporters would have to admit that if they were being honest. But the problem with the media is that they're constantly overplaying their hand. Everything is the end of the world. Everything Trump is going to get us into some kind of nuclear war and destroy the world Every little policy change that he makes is going to cause some kind of global warming nuclear holocaust. There are no small problems. And if you were a communication arm of a communist party, or any political party really, operating in to try to undermine the current government, that's exactly what you would do. Constantly blow things out of proportion to motivate people to make some kind of change. Would they only choose spokesmen that agreed with said narrative? Because I'm telling you, with a handful of rare exceptions, and the only one that I can think of off the top of my head would be Jake Tapper, and even sometimes he falls into this category. You look at the CNN lineup, you look at the ABC lineup, you look at the MSNBC lineup, ABC News, so on and so forth. Every single one of them are simpatico with the agenda. They did a survey, I don't know, three or four years ago, I believe it was, of all the different journalists and different media outlets that identified as Republican versus Democrat, and it was in the upper 80s, the ones that identified as Democrat. And so, of course, you would assume, even if everybody were on the up and up and telling the truth and were genuinely trying to be objective, that at least some bias would seep through with such an overwhelming majority in one camp. And so, of course, when we know that there are, I wouldn't say all, but a lot of Democrats in the media that see it as their job to sort of push that narrative, of course you're going to get incredibly biased coverage. And so that's something that a communication arm of a communist party would absolutely do. And then finally, would it constantly launch personal attacks on the president's character? 
because I would have to say yes. And this is something that the media constantly does over and over again. It's all we hear about how Donald Trump is bad with women, which, by the way, he is. They constantly criticize the job that he's doing, criticize everything. I remember watching a CNN segment where they were being critical of him because he got two scoops of ice cream after dinner. I kid you not, you can look the segment up. These are the things that go on. And so when you look at all this, you have to sit there and ask yourself, well, if Mo Brooks is right and it was the communication arm of the socialist movement in America, what would that communication arm look like? It pretty much lines up exactly with the mainstream media, and that's why I think Brooks actually hit the, hell, the nail on the head. You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, 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 it's like Obamacare. So you got to subscribe to find out what's on it.